Hello to my beautiful knights and queens of the world. You already know who this is, Mr. Royal Diamond, aka Mr. Nieves, coming back at you with another phenomenal video. So my topic is an exciting one. It's basically what you pray for shall come. You know, and what I mean by that is first, this is when you're walking spiritually. This is when you're walking by faith. This is not walking by sight. This is walking by belief. This is not walking by the physical, but walking by the spiritual. We need to understand when we walk by the spiritual, all at that point in time, all things become possible because of God. When you believe in God, that door of all possibility become a possibility for you because now you are a person of faith now you're trusting the almighty god in jesus christ who can make all things possible possible for you so now we need to understand that when you begin to believe in god now you're walking in your spiritual self you're walking in the unknown a lot of people hear the unknown become afraid because they don't know what's yet to come people are so comfortable in the physical that they need to see it first in order to believe it but God would never come from his throne to prove to you that he's real until judgment day. That's the only time God and Jesus will ever come down. And by that time, it's going to be too late. Let me make that clear to you. That's why it's so important to get your life correct now and being free with him and accepting him and loving him. And there's no need to be afraid to accept and love him because he will reveal how beautiful he truly is in your personal relationship as you continue to as you continue your faith in your relationship with him you only need a, you only need a small seed of faith for God to do what he needs to do in you and then that that seed will grow into a massive forest of belief a possibility of healing an incredible relationship with God with Jesus all right understand this God knows what you feel, what you think, what you do, what you haven't done, what you did, what you're going to do, all that. He knows everything. He's, he, he said in his word, he said he's the beginning and the end, the alpha and the omega, the first and the last, the kings of the kings. You get what I'm saying? He's the only one that, can, that knows you better than yourself because he made you. You get what I'm saying? We come from our parents, yes, because God allowed us to choose our parents and you know they they created us by god's grace and you know out of the millions of sperm you was the one they made it through because god called purpose on you that's another thing out of millions of sperm you was the one that was chosen out of all of them that made it to the egg and then you was born that's what you call having purpose from god because you know it could have been somebody else you know out of the bunch but I just want you to know that the moment you pray for something, God heard you and he's, he's already working at it. The problem with a lot of people is they pray for something and they think they're supposed to get it like that. And then they, they just give up having that faith. You get what I'm saying? Understand that God needs your faith in order for you to receive what you pray for. Because when you walk by faith, and that's basically um, demonstrating not only to the world, but letting God know that you honestly believe in him. Not because he gives you blessings and stuff like that, but because he is a real God. He is a living God. He is not dead. He did not, was born, he did, he was, he's not a one time, that's it God. Like he's an everlasting, ever living, ever breathing God. Just because we cannot see him does not mean that he is not real. This is why people have a hard time walking by faith because they need to see it. They need to see it first in order to believe what it is. You know, all this stuff. So I'll make it clear. You know this is a remote control because you was programmed to believe this is a remote control. Someone came up with the concept. Someone instilled that belief system in you. And now you, when you see something like this, you're like, that's a remote control. But over time, if someone keeps telling you this is just a piece of plastic, you're going to be like, it's a piece of plastic. You get what I'm saying? But the difference with God is when you pray for something, when you begin to journey with him, you begin to feel a change in your heart, in your soul, in your spirit. You begin to see how your life begins to unravel in such a beautiful way. You begin to have peace that you never know before, understanding that it surpasses your own understanding, this kind of love that comes over you that you're like, you're walking in this glow that only God can give you. You understand what I'm telling you? God, God will let you begin to feel, see, and understand and comprehend little by little as you grow your level of faith with him. This is what I mean. Whatever you have prayed for, it shall come. You have to continue to have that faith. You have to continue to walk in that spiritual realm. 
we need to understand that we are spiritual beings having a human experience. This is just a temporary body. You get what I'm saying? That's why we're not mortals. That's why we don't live forever. There's a point in time that God will call us home. He will rest your physical form, even in the word, thus you came, thus you go. You get what I'm saying? Because after the body is decaying in the ground, that's all there is. But what makes you life, the essence of who you are, is your spirit and soul that comes only from God. And that's what goes back either to God or to somewhere else. That's why it's so important for you to align yourself with God in the journey with him. You get what I'm saying? So understand that what you pray for, he has heard it and he is working on it. But in a moment in time, you give up believing, then you cannot receive it. Because what you're receiving comes from faith. It comes from belief. It comes from the spiritual realm. Do you understand what I'm telling you? It takes time for those things to manifest in your life. Because God has to align certain things for you to receive what you have prayed for. Depending what it is. You know, I know many of you had experience that you like, oh, I wish I had a cup of coffee. Or I wish I had some lasagna. Some way, somehow, you received that cup of coffee that lasagna. If you did not receive it that day, you receive it either the next day or a couple of days after that. You get what I'm saying? There's certain prayers that you have prayed for when you was a child that you didn't receive until you got older. Because when you got older, the understanding behind it, the, the implication behind it meant so it's a far greater um, impact as you're older than when you're as a child. You get what I'm saying? Just like, oh, you wish you, um, or you pray to God, oh, I want my parents to be happy as a child because you see them fighting. Over your course of your childhood, yeah, they got along, but as you got older, you see your parents having this incredible, peaceful relationship. They are able to coexist. They are able to talk to each other. They are able to still demonstrate love for each other, even though they might not be together. But little do you know, that was the prayer you pray for when you was three or five years old. You get what I'm saying? Sometimes your prayer saves people. It saves relationships. It saves, you, you know, it saves things. That's why God said you have to be um, diligent in your prayers. You have to continue to pray for these things. You know, and the more you put your, your, your belief and your emotion in them, the um, greater they become. You know, the more impactful they become. That's why God said you have to pray for people because God hears that. When you become selfless and you pray for others and you pray for other people's needs before yours, God honors that. You know what I'm saying? He gives you a blessing ten times fold because your heart is so pure. You know, you're not thinking about you no more. It's about them because the compassion you feel for other people that you learn through honoring God. You get, you know what I'm saying? So I leave you with that. But like I say in all my videos, I love you. God bless you. I thank you. Comment, like, comment, like, share, subscribe, or share with anybody who might need this. And until my next video, peace. Am I bugging? <laughs>